Hey beauties! Did you know there's a manicure that looks so natural no one will guess they're not your real nails? Today, I'm going to show you the secret technique for creating naked nails, a trend that has conquered Instagram and the hearts of millionaires. You'll learn how to do a manicure that looks more expensive than it costs. Stay with me and I'll reveal all the secrets of this magical transformation. Today, I'm doing a correction on my client's hands. Previously, we used a no overfiling technique with a gel coating and tested the camouflaging top coat from Ador. The nails are 3 weeks old and I think the top coat has performed quite well so I'll definitely continue using it. Let's start removing the coating. Many beginners ask which bits to use. It all depends on your skill level. If you're just starting out, it's better to choose soft bits, red or yellow, when you're more confident holding the drill. Or if removing with a red bit seems too slow, you can try harder bits like blue or green. How long should removal take? Again, you need to understand that a beginner will take longer than an experienced technician. In general, you should aim to complete removal in no more than 10 minutes. This is a kind of golden standard. The removal technique also greatly affects the time. If you work haphazardly, instead of following a pattern, removing a bit here and a bit there, it will take much longer. Your bit choice, experience and technique are what affect the time. Should you remove all the material down to zero or leave some? It depends on the situation. If there's a lot of lifting, I recommend removing the material almost down to zero, leaving just a thin layer of the base. In other cases, if the coating has worn well with no lifting or just one two areas, I leave 10% of the material. But remember that the base coat has a lifespan of 21 days or three weeks. After that, the base starts to break down, the nails become softer and the material starts to flex. This indicates that the base has expired and it's time to replace it. Gels have a shelf life of 4-6 to six weeks, but this doesn't mean you can comfortably wear them for 1.5 months, no. The gel is applied over the same base. If you want your manicure to last without lifting near the cuticles, you need to do a clean manicure. If you don't properly open the cuticle area, it will be difficult to work it properly with the drill. My cuticles are soft, so I lift them with an orange stick. If you see any areas where the cuticle is stuck or heavily overgrown, use a scraper. It opens the pocket more precisely and doesn't slip off the cuticle like a stick often does. Let's move on to lifting the scales. Basically, in this process, we buff the nail surface to ensure the material adheres better. This reminds me of a story. I have a client who comes every six months. She lives in Italy but visits me for nail extensions when she comes back to her hometown. In Italy, she doesn't get her nails done because it's hard to find a good nail tech and paying a lot for something she doesn't like isn't fun. While she's in Italy, she tries to do her own nails. She tells me, I do everything like you, use the same materials, but my nails don't last even two days while yours hold up. So we start breaking it down step by step. I asked her how she does her manicure. She explains, and I'm thinking it sounds right. Then it hits me. The problem isn't the materials or even the chemical prep. It's in lifting the nail plate scales. I asked her to show me how she does it. She took a file, did some light buffing, and I noticed that the nail wasn't properly buffed. She lifted the scales in the center of the nail, but along the cuticle and side walls, the nail was still glossy. No wonder the polish doesn't last. So girls, pay close attention to every step, especially when lifting the scales. The nail should be completely matte. Let's move on to working with the e-file. Since my cuticle is soft and there's practically no pterygium, I use a red grit bit, setting the speed to 12 to 15,000 RPM. We clean everything that will interfere, pressing the bit against the skin, not the nail plate. Make sure the tip of the bit doesn't press into the nail to avoid overfiling. Work with the belly of the bit. With the first pass of the bit, there will be a lot of dust, but with each subsequent pass, there will be less. If you see as much dust as in the first pass or even more, look carefully. You might be filing the nail itself. Let's trim the cuticle. Do this with the tool you're most comfortable with. Tweezers, nippers, scissors. 
whichever you're skilled at using. I use scissors. Slide the lower blade under the cuticle and start cutting slowly. Try to do it in one cut to minimize hangnails or go over it with a buffer afterwards to smooth out any small imperfections. Thoroughly degrease the nail plate and apply prep products. I use a dehydrator to remove excess moisture and a non-acid primer to create additional adhesion with the base coat. Since I'll be working with gel today, I first apply a flexible base coat. This base is from Luna and I'm still testing it, but I've already had clients come back with this base and it's holding up great. So I've already bought a larger bottle of this base and will continue working with it. As our design today is called Naked Nails, we need gels in two colors, a milky one for drawing the lunula and a gel that closely matches the natural nail plate color. I chose gel specifically because bases usually have much more pigment. Gels are semi-transparent like jelly and perfect for this design. I know many mix clear base with white for drawing the lunula, but I already had a ready-made gel and thought there's no need to reinvent the wheel. We applied the base with a thin rubbing layer and cured it in the lamp for one minute as indicated on the bottle. I have a milky liquid gel from Saga, shade number 3. The consistency is medium thick, which works well for me because I need the gel to not flow and to be able to draw on all the fingers at once. After curing the base coat, I remove the sticky layer. Working without it is much more comfortable. Don't listen to those who say you can't remove the tacky layer because the next material won't adhere. It will and it doesn't affect wear time. For drawing the lunula, I took this brush from Milano. I wet the brush in the material but don't pick up too much. Right now, I'm just sketching out the lunula and will fill it with gel later. My first advice is, this isn't a French manicure, there shouldn't be a perfect line or thin wisps. The trend is called naked nails, meaning the coating should look as close to the natural nail plate as possible. The lunula itself isn't perfectly even and on some nails it's not visible at all. So turn off your inner perfectionist and just make it look nice. When you've outlined the lunula, take a tiny drop of gel and fill it in. Use a fine brush because you need to get the material under the cuticle and it's much easier to do this with a thin brush without any flaws. Next, tilt the finger downwards and do the same on the rest of the nails. Since we are applying gel near the cuticle area, use a minimal amount of gel to prevent chipping. Even with a small amount, the lanula will still be visible. We're not building height, just creating a design. Once you've painted the nails, cure them in the lamp for one minute and remove the dispersion layer. For the mint color, I use the liquid gel from DNA and it perfectly matches the color of natural nails. Honestly, I've never seen a more natural and delicate color. I apply it using the no file strengthening technique, covering the entire nail plate and overlapping the lunula we drew. This will make the coating look even more natural. This gel won't completely cover the milky color, but it will create a light haze, giving a guaranteed wow effect. This trend goes by many names. Naked nails, coverage without coverage, old money and even millionaire's wife manicure. Call it whatever you want, but it's truly high-end luxury at its finest. Lately, I've noticed that the girls are doing all procedures to look as natural as possible with minimal lash extensions, natural looking eyebrows and nails too. I have the impression that the girls have forgotten we also have red polishes, blue ones and whatever color you want. But no, it's all nude and milky. Is it the same for you? We've covered the nail plate. Now place a drop with a gap from the cuticle and distribute the material by pulling it towards the free edge. I distribute the gel using my technique. It's the fastest and easiest way. Those who watch my videos closely know what I'm talking about and even know what it's called. If you know, leave a comment. I'd love to see how many of you get it right. And a big plus of working with gel is that along with the design, we've strengthened the nails, making them durable. Those who paid close attention throughout the video probably noticed that I didn't touch the shape or length and I have a question for you. We've already done the design and the coating. For which strengthening technique are these actions applied? I talked about this in my previous video. 
if you haven't seen it yet i'll pin that video at the end of this one and in the description you definitely need to check it out it's packed with valuable information that other nail techs charge crazy money for but i made it for you absolutely free it includes five different techniques for working with various gels so make sure to watch it so we've done the alignment with gel and cured the nails now let's remove the dispersion layer and file the shape first i adjust the edge and remove about one millimeter of length to reveal the thickness then i remove the corners to give a soft square shape carefully remove dust with a brush wipe again with a degreaser to remove fine dust from the sidewalls and now here's the top coat i've been keeping you intrigued about girls take note hard top from gamma it holds the shine perfectly, making the nails look like they're covered in liquid glass. It's dispersion free and UV filter free. It doesn't change color or yellow over time. I apply it in a medium layer, not for alignment, but not ultra thin either, and seal the edges. Its consistency is not liquid, but it's hard to call it thick. It self levels quickly and doesn't flow. Here's the finished manicure called Naked Nails. Write how this trend is called in your area because it really has many names. I am sure that after this video, you'll want to recreate this elegant design and you'll be just as delighted. Give this video a thumbs up if you enjoyed it and don't forget about the video I mentioned earlier. It's called 5 Techniques for Strengthening Short Nails. My model was absolutely delighted and said this definitely won't be the last time and she'll be coming back for such nails. For me as a technician, this is the most valuable feedback because when the client is happy, the technician is happy too. I'm not saying goodbye for long 